Welcome everyone. In this video, I will be teaching guys how to play Singapore Mahjong. In this video, I will split the tutorial into four different parts. First, we will look at how to set up the game, how do you arrange the tiles, how do you determine who the host is, and how do you draw your tiles. Next, we will look at the different types of tiles. We will touch on the dragon tiles, the wind tiles, and the suit tiles. And of course, the animal and flower tiles. After that, we'll look at the objective of the game. How do you win a game? How does a winning hand look like? Last but not least, we'll talk about the basic gameplay of Mahjong. Do take note that this video, I only cover the basics of the game, so I will not go too in-depth. So I will not include the point systems, how to count the points, and the win tile explanation. I will do that in a future video, so please do keep a lookout. And if you are using an online app to play Mahjong, you can skip the first part of setting up the game. Let's begin. All right. In Mahjong, there are a lot of terminologies that we have, you have to learn. To set up the game, you have to learn your very first terminology, which is called a tong. This tong is not to be confused with the tong zi or the doctor suit. This tong simply means a stack or just one tile being stacked on top of another like this. And to set up the game, you have to set up a wall consisting of 18 stacks or 18 tong like this after the setup there should be 2 tong left 2 tong left or 2 stacks left basically 4 tiles left after that you have to determine who will be the host by rolling the dice anyone can be the roller just roll the 3 dice add up their value so 6 plus 3 plus 1 is 10. So cu start counting from the roller in an anti-clockwise manner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the player on my right or the player on the right of the roller who wrote the value 10 will be the host. The host and the player opposite the host, which means this player and this player will take one additional stack each, like this. So now the host will get this, you don't have to know what this is, I will explain this in my future videos but this is a, this is just called a priv the prevalent win indicator. So the host will get the dice and the, and the indicator. After the host has been selected, we will choose where we will start drawing the tiles from. How do we do that? The host will start by throwing the 3 dice again. We will add up we will add up the values. In this case it is one, one, and a three. So five. And then after that, remember to keep the dice back at your don't leave it in the middle. So we will start similar to how we determine the host, we'll start counting from the roller or in this case the host. In an anti clockwise manner, 5, the value 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll start drawing from this wall by counting 5 stacks in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And for each stack, usually what we'll do is we'll leave it on top as such to signify that it is a, it is a flower bow. What's a flower bow? I'll explain it later, so there's no worry to that. And after that, the host will start by drawing two stacks of four tiles. Following which, the next player on his right will draw another two stack, then another two stack for this player, so on and so forth. All right. Following which, the host will do something called jump or tail. He will draw one tile here and then he will skip and then draw this tile. And then the next player will draw this tile, the second player will draw this tile, the third player will draw this tile, and the last player on the host's left will draw the, this tile. 
After that, look for your animal and flower tiles in your hand. And then place them out in front of your hand, like this. It is alright if you don't have any. After placing the animal and flower tiles out, starting from the host, the host will replace as many tiles as he has taken out. So in this case, since he has two animal and flower tiles, he will replace two from the flower pile. And then if you don't have any, just, uh, just don't do anything. Then the next player, in this case, will replace one. And finally, my turn, I will replace two. The order of replacement is very important. So the host will replace first, the player on his right will replace next, then this player, the player opposite the host, and finally, uh, the player on his left, which is me in this case. So let's say if, uh, I, I cannot replace the flower power before this player over here. So the host must replace first, then that player, then this player, and then finally me. After the first round of replacement, it's uh, possible that you have, you drew another flower animal pulse from the flower pile. So if that happens, wait for the first round of replacement to finish, then you will repeat the process again, starting from the host. This process of replacement will continue until all the hands, all our hands, doesn't contain any flower or animal towel. Like in this case, my hand. Next, we will talk about the different types of tiles that are in a mahjong set. There are four main types of tile in the Singapore mahjong. The suit tiles, the dragon tiles, the wind tiles, and last but not least, the animal and flower tiles which you all have already seen in the first part. Like poker cards, there are suits in mahjong. The three different suits in mahjong are the tongzi, or the dotted suit, the suozi, or the bamboo suit, and the wanzi, the character suit. Each suit has a value 1 to 9. For the character suit, or the wanzi, this is how the e1, or one character, looks like, the two character, the three character, so on and so forth. It will be easy if you know how to read Chinese. For the doctor suit or the tongzi, it looks like this. One dot, two dot, three dot, so on and so forth. Tongzi is the easiest to know the value as you just have to count the number of balls in the tau. Lastly, for the bamboo suit or the suozi, this is how one bamboo looks like. Take note that one bamboo or e sword is usually in a shape of a bird and should not be confused with the animal tiles. The bird is the one bamboo, is the value one for the bamboo suit. And this is the two bamboo, three bamboo, so on and so forth. Next are the dragon tiles, or they are sometimes called the San Yun Pai. They are the red dragon, the Hong Chong, the green dragon, Fa Cai, and the white dragon, Bai Ban. Next are the wind tiles. There are four different wind tiles, namely the east wind, the south wind, the west wind, and the north wind. The Dong Feng, Nan Feng, Si Feng, and Bei Feng. Last but not least are the animal and flower tiles, which you guys have already seen in the first part of the video. The four animal tiles are the rooster, the centipede, the cat, and the mouse. For the flower tiles, there are eight different flower tiles. They are in a set of four, the red flower tiles and the blue flower tiles. This is how an entire deck looks like. Take note that there are four of the same tile for each different types of tile in Mahjong. 
For example, there are 4 red dragons, 4 green dragon, 4 iswin, 4 one dotted, 4 one character, 4 five memu, so on and so forth in the entire deck. However, also take note that for the animal and flower tiles, there is only one unique tile for each of them, unlike the rest of the tiles. Alright, this part of the video we'll talk about the objective of the game. How do you win a mahjong game? To win a game, you have to achieve a winning hand. A winning hand consists of 4 sets of 3 tiles and an identical pair. This is how a winning hand looks like. There are two ways to form a set or a set of 3 tiles. Either they are a sequence of the same suit or they are 3 identical tiles. For the pair, it can be any two identical tiles. This is another example of a winning hand. Take note that a winning hand consists of 14 tiles. A sequence is basically any three tiles of the same suit that are in order. Basically like 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, or 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now back to the gameplay. At this point, after the setup of the game, the host, which is this player over here, should have 14 tiles, while the other 3 players should have 13 tiles only. What we'll usually do is put our tiles based on their types. We'll arrange the tiles based on their types, like this. So, the character suit, we put them in ascending order. After that will be the bamboo suit in ascending order. Then after that dragon tiles and then the wind tiles. I don't have any dotted suit so okay. The host will start by discarding one tile, one unwanted tile from his hand. After that, the next player which is to the right of the host will draw and then discard one tile which he does not need followed by the next player on that player's right he will draw a tile and discard one tile which he does not need and then after that the last player which is me in this case I'll draw a tile and then discard a tile that I do not need. In this case, this has formed a pair, so I will want to save that. And I'll discard one unwanted tile. In order to achieve the winning hand, there are several ways a player can go about doing it. The first one is called Pong. Pong can be called when a player has two identical tiles in his hand and another player, regardless of who discarded that same tile. So these three other players who throw that tile, you can call for a Pong. In this case, for my case, I can call for a Pong with the Green Dragon, the 8 Bamboo, or the 3 character. For example, I saw a Green Dragon, I immediately shout Pong to stop the game. And then I will display it. I will display the two tiles from my hand, put it in front, display it in front like the flower and animal tiles, and then take the discarded tile and place it like that. You have, will have completed one set in front. After that, discard another tile from your hand which you do not need without drawing any tiles. This part is important as some beginning mistakes include player drawing after after calling for a pong, which will result in your hand having more than 13, 13 tiles. So, I'll discard the card that I don't want, and then the player on my right will continue. 
Next is called Chi. Chi can be called when a player on your left throws a tile that you need to form a set of sequence. For example, Right. For example, in this case, the four bamboo, I can call for chi. This way, three, four, five form a set of sequence, or four, five, six can also form a set of sequence. In this case, I can choose which one I want, and then I will call for chi. I'll say chi, and then I'll display it out in front. Take the discarded tile and then similar to Pong, I will have to discard one tile which I do not need and the game will continue. Do take note that you can only chi the tile from the players from the player on your left. So if the player on my right or the player opposite me throw the four bamboo instead, I can't call for a chi. An important point to note is that Pong has a higher priority than Chi. So if I have wanted to Chi this 4 bamboo and another player will, want, will have wanted to Pong it, the priority will be given to the player who want to Pong the, the 4 bamboo instead. So I wouldn't have been able to Chi this 4 bamboo. For example, in this case, In this case, I want to chi the one character to form the one, two, three set of sequence. Pong. Once I heard Pong, my action will have to stop and then the priority will be given to the player who shot for the Pong. And then if he did Pong, it will be that player's turn and then that player will discard the Tao. And then the game continues. The game will continue until someone who or another way another word for winning the game. In this case, I will want to chi since it's the player on my left who threw the four character. I can call for chi and there's no one who call for pong so my chi will proceed and then I will discard one tile which I don't need in this case it will be this six bamboo since I have already have one set two set three set and a pair so now I'm just in an in this state call Ting Pai or waiting for the winning hand. And yeah, in this state of Ting Pai or waiting for the winning hand, you can win or Hu Pai with any player's discarded tile, even if you are waiting for a sequence like this. You don't have to wait for the player on your left. Any player, any of the three players who throw the one character or four character tile into the discarded pile, I can call for a Hu Pai. I can call for or I can call for win. At this point, I will shout who, and then I will open my hand and show them that I have won the game. So, to recap the winning condition or the winning hand, there should be four sets and a pair. First set, second set, third set, the last set, and a pair. After someone has who or game, this game will end and everyone will close the tiles and then reshuffle everything.
after the shuffling has been done, if the player who won wasn't the host, in this case, this player on the right didn't win, it was me who won, the host will be passed down or passed on to the next player to his right. In this case, which is the player opposite me. And he will we'll redo everything, like we will arrange the tiles, forming the 18 and 19 stacks. Remember, now the host and the player opposite the host, which is me in this case, we have to form 19 stacks on our wall, and the other two players will have 18 stacks. And then he will throw the dice, and then we will decide where to start drawing the tiles from, and then the game will repeat. One round will be finished when the host has been passed from the initial host to the next host to the next host and to me. So after the host has been passed one, two, three, three times and then passed back to the first host. However, if it was the host who have won just now, the host will, will stay with him and then we will do everything the same. So the, the same host will throw the dice to decide where we'll start drawing a house from. And then if he wins again, the host will stay. Until someone else, the other three player won, then the host will be passed to the next player on his right. That's the end of the video. Thanks for taking your time to watch this video. And if you have any questions regarding the video, please feel free to comment down below and I will answer all the questions as soon as possible. Hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see and learn more about Singapore Mahjong. Have a great day. Goodbye.